that could have killed Marines later on because we didn't, you know, the intangibles, all this war effort stopping because this one guy left. You know, I, I said before that I was going to keep my mouth shut hoping that the military judicial system would do something of the right way, but th I think this judge dropped the ball, and, and I think it's sad. I think it, 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 it's something with something personal against this administration. I don't know what it is. I think the judge made a bad call. So you said, just to go back to the beginning of what you just told us, that you knew from the outset that this was desertion. He had left intentionally. We, we knew without we a doubt. We didn't know that. Those of us who were just covering this stuff, we were told by the Obama administration that there, you know, we weren't clear. It wasn't clear. How it, it was. was it, I mean, it was so bizarre. You know, I've been in a lot of different spots. It, about. Eight months after we finished the bin Laden raid, I was part of a team that might have been tasked to go rescue him out of a part of Pakistan where he knew he was. And the Obama administration sent their people there and tried to explain to us, well, we think this guy might have fallen back on patrol. I had to stop her in the middle of it, Nick. No, no, no. This guy walked off. I knew before my first cup of coffee that day, he's a deserter. We need to go after him simply because he wears the uniform. We never leave a man behind. And this, this poor dimwit doesn't know what he just got himself into. He did learn over the next five years. And like I said, he did get punished for that, but what the judge did today was, was wrong. So, but they knew, the Obama people knew from the very beginning, I mean, if you knew... Well, we knew, but they're going to spin it into something political like they but did. But why would they lie about that? They want, they why want, would they, they, they Well, they want the victory. Why, why would they bring the the parents of, of this deserter into the Rose Garden and have, you know, the, on the Sunday morning shows, have Susan Rice calling him, uh, he served with honor and distinction. I talked to so many guys from my former command, the elite SEAL team, uh, just saying just a disgrace, a disgrace, a disgrace. A lot of guys that were there, one of my guys said, oh, I'd have too many thoughts. I, I can't tell him right now. Yeah, that's depressing. Rob O'Neill, thank you for that. Thanks, Doctor. I appreciate it. Great to be here. Always.